Good morning everyone, my name is Akesh Gupta and I'm with Lightspeed Solutions. Today in this presentation I will share with you how easy it is to upload and download files in RNSP Designer. To begin with, let's actually uh, keep looking at our CRM solution that we have been following for a lot of other videos. Very simple example, we have an account and account type and account basically has nothing more than certain fields. Let's actually look at one of the use cases where we would like to upload an icon for each account. And part of the process will be also to show the icon for each account on the main show table page. So to begin with, what we will do is we will go back to the edit account page and we will just keep following the same pattern where we would like to basically show the fields. The very first thing we would like to do is we would like to say what my account logo is. What we have done here is in the database we have two fields, account logo and account logo file name. File name is primarily used to store the file name of the logo. By default, if the account logo is a data type of image, it's very difficult to get the original file name. So to store the original file name, we basically have dedicated another separate field. So in our case, I will basically be looking at it and I will uh, just be uploading a file. And by default, if you look at the properties of this account logo field, you will see it is a file upload control. But as you can notice, it's a file upload control. Right here, we also have a file name field. That's where we will go in and put the name of the file as account logo file name. So what's going to happen here is the account uh, logo file name will automatically save the name of the file which was being uploaded and system will save the file. Now after the file has been saved we would like to show the account logo right here on the show table page. So for that to work we basically can just display the logo because logo is an image it will automatically dis be displayed. Of course you can adjust the properties of the logo if you, in case you want to adjust the width, height and so on but we will leave it right now as is. Let's actually look at what happens. So this is one type of uh, upload down and uh, download where we would like to basically upload images and be able to see what basically uh, what images have been uploaded. So let's actually go back and refresh into the CRM. And for example, uh, just to check the concept, we will basically definitely go to the two records which we have been playing with all along. And let's go back to the first record. It was google.com. I can basically go to account logo, pick a file. It's in my documents and we can go down and say Google. So I picked up Google save and close and of course Google logo came in. Same thing I can go to MSN and I, of course I can once again pick the file it'll be MSN logo and save and close. So as you can see it was very straightforward for us to upload a file image which is of a GIF format. Let's take it a step ahead. Let's say for example we would like to upload some Word documents which I can even download by providing a link. So in that case what we would like to do is we would also like to do the same thing. We have a field to upload the attachment, which is in my case account notes, and the name of the files will be stored in a similar separate field, account notes file name. So since it's an upload once again, we will be basically just showing them a place to upload the account notes. And once the account notes are uploaded, we would like to also do the same thing that we did at the first time, which was on the account logo. We basically, uh, on the account uh, notes we would like to say it is an upload control it's a file upload control it must be because of the the data type and the field name is account notes file name so we would like to save it uh, give me one second just want to check why the data type is not the same because the data type should be exactly the same which is um, image as far as I'm concerned, I would like it to be all image. So let's actually just check pretty quickly. Make sure the data type was the same. And if it's not the same, it's a very easy change. And as you can see, account logo is image, but the account notes is NVARCAR Max. So we would like to convert it to image. Of course, system is saying you cannot. So I will delete this field and re-add a new field. So now I just have to regenerate my RSP designer. Refresh the schema. Rebuild all. 
but I would like to still go back and finish. So it's very important that all the image controls are really uh, of the defined as the as the data type of image. So yes, it's an account upload and the file name goes into account notes file name. So the upload process remains the same. But how about the download process? In this case, since it's not an image, I just cannot s automatically say drop account notes here and it will automatically show me uh, the, uh, what do you call, um, the whole Word document if that was the case or the Excel document. So what I need to do here is I need to really define this as a file download. So I will basically uh, I'm sorry this was basically a label no that's wrong this was just label content so what I can do here is I can basically say these are my account notes which I would like to rather than be an image because image will not work here I can say I would like it to be a file download and since it's a find file download I can tell what is the name of the file that basically stores the name of the file for this particular image so it will be account notes file name so as you can see what I did was I dragged and dropped an image control by default it is going to be displayed or assumed to be an image which we know is not an image and that's why we basically made it a file download with the file name field as the file name where we were storing so let's see what uh, changes uh, this will make to our upload and download process so the very first thing we'll do is we will log in we will basically upload a file for a particular uh, account and once I am uploading a file on account notes word document so I can say it's uh, this person's document and I can say save and close and let's do the same thing for the other person pick the other second file so as you can see we have two separate files that we picked for both the people and since we were displaying the notes but we made it into an image, uh, sorry, from we converted from image to a file download control. RNSpeed is smart enough to automatically display the hyperlink of the file name. So and on hover, as you can see, the tooltip says open this document and I can click on it and RNSpeed will automatically open the document. That's just my integration with the, uh, with the browser that was basically was not automatically opening because I was trying to run here Chrome and I can see how easy the download process worked and I was able to open my two documents in Office 2010 without any problem. So as you can see it's very straightforward to work with image controls as well as document controls and uh, using RSP Designer it makes it very very simple to upload and download documents. We have definitely tried documents, Word, doc Word documents, Excel documents, PDF files and so on. They all simply work. Hope you folks enjoyed the video and keep looking for more. Thank you.